Welcome back to my channel, it's me and Marie, and today we have a very quick video on the black and lucky green Jordan 1. Hi. So as you've seen from the B-roll, we have the Jordan 1 High right here. Um, I picked these shoes up back in April, around April 20th on the sneakers app. And I like these shoes, but there's some things I just uh, don't really like, really enjoy about it. But I'll talk about that at the end of this video. But for right now, I'm gonna talk about three particular things. I'm talking about the fit of the shoe. I'm gonna talk about is the shoe worth buying? And I'm gonna talk about does the shoe live up to the hype? So first things first, let's talk about the fit of the shoe. I got these in a size nine and a half. Um, the reason why I got these in size 9.5 is because I have a multitude of Jordan 1s. So I have a pair of Core Purples or a pair of Shadows, and I have a pair of Blake Griffins and also a pair of green and white um, Jordan 1 Lows. Uh, majority of those pairs, they're size 9.5 and, and they fit pretty like pretty perfectly. There's, there's enough like toe box room, and the size 9s that I do have, they are kind of like snug but i feel like they're they molded to my foot so it was like able to like i was able to like really enjoy the comfort of them but some pairs of shoes like for example like i have a pair of lebrons right um these i got these in size nine these hurt my feet so bad i can't even wear them so it all depends on the type of shoe but for the most part i will recommend that you go either true to size or go a half size up you want if you want an extra space in the shoe go a half size up if you want a very nice snug fit of the shoe go a size go true to size or for me i would have went size nine but i like the little roomy feel in these shoes but either way you can't go really you can't go wrong with either going half size up or going true to size so that's the fit of the shoe is this shoe worth buying yes this shoe is very nice it like the details in the shoe are like pretty pristine like you have the white midsole green outsole you have a black toe box um well toe cap whatever you have a white toe box area green laces also they have um what is it called you have a pair of black laces as well that comes with the shoe but and a green heel black check white medial and lateral side of the shoe overall black tongue as well and like black hopefully you can see this like a black um insole overall the shoe is very nice um one thing about it is just like when i pick these up and i'm just like really examining the shoe i'm just like there's some quality control errors on it um maybe this me being like a little nitpick type of person but Hopefully you can see that like right there that spec that's glue right here you have a thread out of place and for the most part thus that's just on this particular pair and like you have some glue stains or glue residue around here hopefully you can see I'm gonna zoom in so you can actually see what I'm talking about you have some like glue stains on the shoe right there it's not like super crisp with it yes overall from a like from a distance the shoe looks perfect but up close when you actually like sit down and like really examine the shoe look around there's some obviously some quality control errors with the shoe but another thing that kind of like made me want to just like have a pair of jordan ones because like jordan ones are elite they they go with a lot of different um outfits they're very versatile there's a it's a very versatile pair of shoes but at the same time it's like not all Jordan 1s are built the same, and this particular shoe is not built the same. Um, I don't know, if this shoe was, like, if it was, like, the core purples, like, the, the solid color blocking, as in, like, the color on the heel and the, color, the same color on the toe box, yes, that would be fire, but I feel like the green is not that good of a colorway to, I guess, like, spend the, the amount of money for this particular shoe. After, like, taxes and fees, whatever the fudge, um, this shoe came out to, like, less than $200. But this shoe is currently reselling for about like less than retail. So like in my mind, I like might as well just return them, get my money back, and then potentially rebuy them for a lower price because I feel like this shoe is not worth the $195 that I purchased this shoe for. But that's just my talking points on is this shoe worth it? Like if you never have a pair of Jordan ones, this shoe is right up your alley. You can definitely find them for under retail as I previously mentioned. But at the same time, it's just like if you have an established collection, these are not going to like make or break your collection. You can afford to miss these. You can afford to not pick these shoes up. So that's just me talking about is this shoe worth it. 
again, just reiterate, yes, it's worth it if you don't have a pair of Jordan 1s and you're trying to like branch into just Jordan 1s in general. This is the most ideal shoe for you. But if you have a very established collection, I don't recommend picking these up because they don't really like in they don't really have that like pop factor if that makes sense so that's just my talking points on is the shoe worth it for, for myself and also giving you my opinions on is the shoes worth it last thing um does the shoe live up to the hype absolutely not when i saw like uh mock-ups and like photos of this shoe before release day i'm like all right these shoes are really nice i was wanted to try out a pair of um like black toe Jordan ones, but like again, the shoe, like if it was a different color, if this is red, we have a different story because red I can match and mismatch and do a lot more things with red, but green is a very like, I wouldn't say a tough color way to like make outfits with, but it's a very complicated. Like if it doesn't go, if you, if your outfit is not um, up to par, the green is just gonna throw it off, and that's one thing I just noticed myself like looking through my wardrobe, I'm like. I don't really have a lot of green items within my um, collection. I have a lot of collab, a lot of like black clothes. That yeah, black clothes will go nice with this, but like it's a bright, it's a bright green shoe. Like even though it looks kind of dull on camera, like in person, it's a very bright, like almost like a slime green shoe. So with that being said, like it's just gonna throw off the fit. So that's just me. Um, and again, like this shoe, I it's hard to say because it hasn't like. A historic color blocking like a black toe color blocking but at the same time like the green is just not it it's not cutting cutting it for me so this shoe does not live up to the hype and that's just my final thoughts on this particular shoe but again if you enjoy this type of content um hit that subscribe button hit that like button comment down below what are your thoughts like would you keep this shoe if you hit hit them on, on the sneakers app if not let me know um but yeah this is just my quick review on this particular shoe Right after this video, I'm going to Nike and I'm returning these bad boys so I can get my money back and find another shoe that's worth my time to keeping. So with that being said, this is Norm Reed and catch you soon.